I have here an Athern Genesis DC CSX SD45-2 item number 8974 or G67103 the road number I'm sorry is 8974 um, this is a DC only engine I do believe it is DCC ready um, check the description to be sure that's correct uh, this is a beautiful locomotive I do believe everything is intact runs good and smooth um, I have 18 inch radius one thing I did notice is um, occasionally at various places on my layout the front wheel will come off the tracks um, and usually it's inside of a curve or um, coming out of a curve occasionally right after a turnout It is believed that this locomotive is fairly new. I don't think it had very much runtime on it uh, when I first pulled it out, and the wheels did not look like it had been run. Um, so I had to break it in a little bit. So um, it is on consignment, so I do not know the full history of the locomotive. So we'll say it's used uh, with. Just a little bit of runtime. It does not look like it had a whole lot. Has directional lighting. And it has some good weight to it. That's about 60% throttle right there in reverse. Um, we're at two minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, let me send it through some curves and we'll see if it derails. Occasionally, as it approaches these crossings, it has come off. You'll see it right there. It did. Okay. So. And there is one 22 inch radius, um, maybe two or three right there. Uh, and it did just come off the track, and usually it's just the front wheel. So um, I did check the gauge of the wheels, and at least in a resting position, the gauges seem to be accurate. So not 100% certain why it comes off. Didn't there yet but sometimes it pops off, it just did right there, okay, and uh, put it right back on, and it's good, so probably be best if you have greater than 18 inch radius. Just popped off there. Now what I've noticed is that, and I'll do this real quick, if I remember correctly, it doesn't do that in the opposite direction. In other words, the last rear wheel doesn't seem to come off the track, just the front, but we'll double check it. Let's be sure I've got it on the track there. Didn't pop off there. And let's see what happens when it comes back up over here.
Okay. So without doing any repairs to the locomotive or anything like that, um, like I said, I did check the gauge just using a set of calipers, and all the wheels appear to be engaged. But for some reason, in forward, this locomotive occasionally will pop off the track on 18-inch radius. In reverse, same track, it doesn't do that. Okay. But it is up for sale. It's show my hobby. And um, that's it.